Um, this is what we'll be cooking. that, you know, we just dump everything in. <laughs> so easy. The measuring, it doesn't really matter. Okay? And the most important thing, you have to cook with your heart. You have to listen to your heart. Okay? It's difficult for you, right? Because <laughs> you always use the measuring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people, um, especially by Asian people, Italian people, they had no problem. Because we do the same method, dumping it. Yeah. <laughs> so, but um, you're from Canada, US, or England, they yeah. have big, quite big problem. This is how we do the garlic. So, I just want to sharp it up. Just a little bit from there. Okay, now this is tofu. Normally, tofu that you find, only that, right? Mm -hmm. So, the reason that outside here is a yellow because we put turmeric inside there. This is turmeric, the one that you see this morning. You see that? It changed my cutting board into yellow too. Mm -hmm. So turmeric basically anti-inflammatory. It kills all the bacteria. Mm -hmm. Why are you putting in the tofu food and why are you putting in food? Become food preservative. Mm -hmm. So if you find the yellow one, buy the yellow one. It's better. Mm -hmm. Because it's the air dirty, the water dirty, all the germ that can hurt you. Yeah. Okay. Now what you do, turn, take a look. Mm. Water completely gone. Okay? That, see that? No more water anymore. So now what we do, we have hot one with this figure. Okay? It's a little bit quite too hot to wrap right now. I don't want you to burn your finger, so we must let it cool down. So what we do, waiting for this to cool down, you will going back to your station and you're gonna start it making your papaya sauce. So now what we do guys, smash like a garlic, smash a little bit of bean, chili. Okay, now what you do, you don't have enough space, you let it in. Oh, sorry. Okay, 
What are these things? Uh, this is for the. When they are not hand associates, they will sink down. Okay, we'll see what happens. Like this is perfect. Take the, that thing out. Now, what you do, don't touch the spoon when you put it up because it's going to be freaking hot. Okay, so what you do, be careful, you put it up there. And then you make sure that the triangle, you see that? Mm -hmm. Underneath. Under all that, the spoon, okay? Like this. Mm -hmm. Now, when you do it, don't be afraid. You just put it in. One, two, and three. Three seconds each side. One, two, three. Good in breath. That's it. Do all you cannot do anything to you. Only thing. Next. Yeah. Um, you can grab the rice here. Okay, too much water. Grab the rice, yeah. It's okay. It's not sticky like the one you see this morning. Yeah. Okay. It just seems like we're really. Remember, <laughs> this morning you try sticky rice. Okay. The same. So, what we do before you can cook the sticky rice, you have to soak the rice in the water. When you look at it, when you touch it, it looks the same like a normal rice, but it's different type of rice. So that means when you want to buy the rice, you have to read the packet. If the packet that you buy doesn't say sticky rice, you can never turn into sticky. <laughs> you don't add anything to make it sticky. It's like um, they have some chemical inside that is called gluten, which is oh, make it gluten. Okay. That's why I make it sticky. sticky. So what I mean, if you have friends, family member, they will have gluten-free problem. She cannot eat the sticky rice, mm -hmm. but she can okay. still eat normal rice. No rice, just couple hundred. Okay. Now soak this four or five hours before you cook okay? to make it basic steamer. For me, I don't use that lemon basket for two reasons. The first reason I don't use it because if you don't clean that basket really well, hanging in the wall. Next day, you will see fungus oh. because the group is so easy to clean. Okay, and the second thing I don't show into you why try to buy that basket, put it in your suitcase, travel back to your home, see what happens. Most of the time, will break. So, why we're showing it? So, all you need to do is find some kind of steamer, any type of steamer will work gas, electric, fire, doesn't matter. So now I put this thing in to make it um, the steamer and they have the water and the space that much. Make sure that water doesn't touch it. And then I have a big hose. So I use this thing, which is called cheese cloth. Easy to use, easy to clean, easy to dry. If you don't have the cheese cloth and your steamer have the same problem, you can use your t-shirt, easy solution or underwear. Yeah. Wow. You do the job, right? <laughs> you might figure out the new recipes for you, you know, that secret recipe that you don't want anybody to know. <laughs> but it tastes good. Okay, now what we do, do you see on the top of the rice, the water that they have really been because you fermented already. And you don't want to have the smell of alcohol or like that. You need to wash it. You, do, you don't wash it, they have like funny taste. Because technically it's fermented, even you don't add the yeast in. You just drench it like this. And put the water back in. Okay, that's it. Okay, and drain again. Maybe two or three times until you see that the water a little bit clear now. It's not, not much uh, milk in color anymore. Then you put it in here. Okay, now if you do some underwear, if you want to use it again <laughs> after you cook the rice, you make sure that you keep inside. If you let it hang in like this, it will get burned. And you can never use that underwear anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, you cover like this, and then come on here, guys. You're gonna put it up here, okay? Gas on to max. You're gonna let it steam 45 minutes. You put coconut milk in. 
we don't do measuring thing, you know, you just eyeball. Then what you do, coconut milk, you put water. Yeah, out of the water, you dump pumpkin. Pumpkin? Yeah, we call fucktum. Pumpkin. It's yeah. not mango. After that, you make sure that every piece that has the space to folding. We had nine people today, right? Mm -hmm. So what we do, put it on the stove. Can you turn the gas on too, Max? Now, when, when you can turn the gas, hold it there for a second. Push, turn, hold it there for a second, let it go. It's on. Mm. Now, we need to let it cook about seven to 10 minutes. Seven to 10 minutes. Seven seven for to the 10 pumpkin minutes. to get soft. And does okay. it matter what type of pumpkin you use? Um, the one that we're using, it call, oh, sorry, sorry, we call the butternut squash. Butternut we also squash. have a big Halloween squash. We don't eat it. Is it butternut? Yeah, so butternut. because it's like a plastic. Mm -hmm. So you can find the smaller one or kombucha squash or butternut squash. It will be better. Okay. Better taste. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, let it cook. After they cook, you try. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is like two more. Okay. One, two, muscle one. Muscle. Three. Four. Four muscle one. Okay. Okay, put it inside. Okay, you got the pants in next. Everybody grab the shallow. This one. Yeah, can I the big book? I'll buscalo orno. And then you put it inside your motor paste. Put it inside that. Second, you see is this. Diamond grass. Okay. Put it inside your motor paste. Next, you see in one piece of wood. Take it out. Piece of wood? You see that? This one is galanga. Uh, okay. Okay. And next, you see one green leaf. You see yeah. that? Mm -hmm. That is kaffir lime, the one that you smell today. Yeah. Put inside. Kaffir lime. Kaffir lime. And next, garlic. 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 You can put it in. Garlic. And then you see black pepper.